Good morning, family of God. I'm so excited with what the Lord has put on my heart for this week's devotions. I've called it Fresh Manna, and I'll explain to you why as I go. But years ago, my husband decided to start a veggie patch. I wasn't very enthusiastic in the beginning, but when the vegetables started to get ripe, then I was very enthusiastic because there's nothing like fresh vegetables, especially potatoes. You know, when you dig potatoes out of the ground, you've got to be careful. If you use a fork, you can put it right through the potato or a spade. So I would go with my hands into the warm soil at the end of the day and just pick four potatoes, one for each of us, wash them off, put them in the oven and bake them. Those potatoes were so tasty as compared to the, like the potatoes you get in the supermarket, you know, which have been picked and processed and packed and driven for miles and put on the shelves. There's nothing wrong with the supermarket potatoes, but the potatoes that I picked out of the soil were so tasty. And I like to think of the Word of God in that way as well. The Word of God that we get for ourselves. You know, Jesus told us to say in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. And I know we talk about the food that we eat, but he is the bread of life. And so it's like we're getting the bread, the fresh bread every day. Jesus said in John 6, 35, I am the bread of life. Think about that. And in Matthew 4, 4, Jesus said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So can you see that the word of God is similar to the manna that the Israelites went out to collect in the desert? They couldn't collect for enough for tomorrow or have some from yesterday. Every day they had to get fresh manna. And I like to think of the word of God in the same way, that every day we receive something from God that is specifically for us. You know, the word that you get in devotions or in books or from sermons, they're very good. They're like the potatoes you get in the supermarket. They're full of nutrition. They're very good. But the word that you get for yourself is beyond. Um, I want to explain it like this or give you a little testimony. When I'd only known the Lord for a couple of months, um, one day I was alone at home and the Mormons knocked on my door. And I was excited because I thought, here's someone I can witness to. So when I opened the door, I said to them, guys, you've come to the right place. I'm born again. I'm filled with the Spirit. I'm a child of God. And they said, and I said, I've got the light. And they said, well, that's why we're here. We've come to bring you more light. Oh, so I let them in and they came in and they told me all about Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. And then they said to me, we're going to leave the book with you. Have a look at it and we'll come back in a week's time. And they left. And I was left under a cloud. I was so confused. I was so unhappy. I thought, Lord, if these people are right, then I need to follow them. And if they're not right, then I need to tell them. So I I said, Lord, please show me, please show me. And I didn't know my Bible in those days. And I got an impression in my mind. I can't say it was a, a you know, audible voice, but I got an impression in my mind that I must look at um, Galatians 5.12. Well, (laughs) I looked at Galatians 5.12. You'll never guess what it says. It says, I wish those men that are bothering you would go the whole way and cut themselves off. I was so excited. I couldn't wait for them to come back. And when they got back, I said to them, guess what, guys? God showed me you, you're wrong. <laughs> well, they wiped the dust off their feet and they left me and they never came back. But I've never forgotten that word. It Because God said it to me. I couldn't make a sermon out of that. I couldn't make a devotion out of that. But for me, I was just so blessed. God spoke to me in my personal situation. And that's what he wants to do for all of us. Why? Because we are highly favoured and deeply loved of God.